But now it's time to say hello to our first guests. From Biker Grove to the jungle, this Geordie duo have OBEs and over 100 TV awards between Thanks. them, almost as many as you and I. Nearly. We wish in our wildest dreams. Please welcome Ant and Dick. <laughs> Hello. Hi. 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 That 25 years old is when he first presented SMTV. It is, yes, they yeah. say. Yeah, we yeah. started SMTV August 1998. Uh, so, yeah, it was the same time that the, the, the Angel was launched. I remember it kind of happening and being unveiled and all of that, and everybody going, Ooh, I wasn't expecting that. Yeah, people <laughs> didn't know. <laughs> Not by a moment to start with. Yeah. They didn't like you to start with uh, a lot of people, but it's, I think it's grown on a lot of people. It's really and yeah. now it's oh, a proper, yeah, real it's a proper it is. Yeah, yes. proper. It is. Now, this weekend sees the return of Saturday Night Takeaway. Before we have a chat about it, let's let everybody know what they can expect. That's what you can expect. Um, lots of fun there. And you've been working on this, haven't you, since last summer? Yes. So expectations are high, boys. <laughs> yeah. Are, are they? Yeah. No, we always have to kind of work on it throughout the year because we will film the undercovers and the I'm a celebrity girl me yeah. is throughout the year. And um, it just, there's a lot of ideas in it of uh, course, week on yeah. week. So we, we're constantly refreshing it. So, it, yeah, it takes up all of our yeah, not just not just these seven weeks. Well, let's drill down to <laughs> different sections. Drill away. Absolutely. Come let's on. talk. Come I'm on. a celebrity. Get, get out of my ear. Yes. yes. Who are you tormenting this season? Uh, so this year we've got uh, Claudia Winkleman. Right. I bet she's brilliant. She was oh, amazing. And, really good. And this one was a bit different because we took her out uh, of, of, like, a home environment, which yeah. is where we normally do them, and we put her in a massive shopping... Can I say what it is? Yeah, just say it. It's a massive Swedish homeware store. OK. <laughs> yeah. okay. No idea. Oh, well yeah. done. Yeah, no, no clue. Said it. So she's in Ikea, right? Yeah. 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 And, um, <laughs> other Swedish hardware stores... No, I don't think they are available. <laughs> um, so she's in there kind of in, uh, uh, talking to other customers and members of staff. Brilliant. And she's cringing. Yeah. So we've got her... We thought, with Claudia, that she might be unembarrassable. You know, that she yeah, might yeah, just yeah. go for it all. She did go for it all, but there was a few times where we got her so close where she was like, I'm not doing that. I'm not saying <laughs> that. Can't wait. I'm not doing that. It's really fun. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's fun. And she was game for a laugh. Uh, so who else is on the list then, Ant? Um, we also did, uh, and I'm going to get out of my ear, with Joel Wicks. <gasps> just. Okay. We just, well, we try every year with different names and sometimes, most of the time, they come back with a hard no. He was <laughs> a hard no for many years. Was he? Really? Oh, yeah, he was like, no, no, it's a no. Then it was... No, I, I would love to, guys, but my diary doesn't, uh, won't allow me. And, of course, we never take no for an answer. We just kept coming back. We're and so back. annoying. <laughs> we're we back. so annoying. I eventually went, all right, I'll just do it. When do you want me? <laughs> uh, so, yeah, he, so we did it with him. And as it was the first frame of uh, the shoot and he was wearing his mic and he had his earpiece in. He just put his earpiece in. And we giggled in his ear and he went, <laughs> oh, why did I say yes to this? <laughs> Immediately regretted it yeah. before we'd done anything. Brilliant. So, Brilliant. Tech, the miniseries is back. Yes. Um, now, so you do it every single week. This year, it's in Barbara Cartland's house. I yes. can't wait for this. Yes. So is it, is it romantic? It like? you know, no, no, it's, it's not. As you imagine it would be. It? No. Yeah. <laughs> it's a murder mystery. It's an Agatha Christie-style murder mystery. Right. Uh, it's called Murder at Bigwig Manor. <laughs> um, and, and we don't, we don't ever, <laughs> we don't ever um, talk about the fact it's Barbara Cartland's house. This was just the location. Okay. Uh, but we've a lot of TV presenters have been invited to the head of ITV's, the ITV Bigwigs Manor, to find out who's going to be hosting this brand new show, which is going to be the, a big ratings winner. And one by one, all of the TV presenters who are up for the job start getting killed off. Oh, so we have to find the killer mm -hmm. at the manor. I bet people, though, are tripping over themselves wanting to be part of this miniseries. Yes. And see inside Barbara Cartland's house. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I would have been on the phone going, <laughs> oh, we should have, that's how we should have see? sold it to oh, you. Do you mean you're not in it? No. Oh. Oh, she, I know. she wasn't what? up for the job. Oh, all <laughs> oh, right, okay. 
<laughs> yeah, no, we do. We get a lot of people wanting to come and do it, but we have to shoot it in one week, one specific week. So a lot of it is done. Oh, that was that week we were away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah that's yeah, what it was. Yeah, now I remember. Uh, Deck, there's always fierce competition between you both with Ant versus Deck. Yes. It's oh, back yeah. this year. It is back this year. What's I'm happened? defending my um, trophy from last year. Um, so I, yeah, I see. There's no defending. way. There's no <laughs> yeah. way. There's absolutely no way I'm going to lose two on the bounce. Well, it's just not going to happen. I won it last year and has had to do a forfeit all year. Oh. The forfeit was you had to put, put a, a post on social media every month for the last year telling, saying how great I am. <laughs> so that... Um, you're on your last one now, actually, aren't you? We're going, we're going to do, do your last, last one, one tomorrow. Weekend, yeah. We're going to do that. Yeah, I look forward to so it. So that is back. Um, <laughs> hosted by, that bit's hosted by Stephen Mulhern. So, you know, every, every silver lining has a cloud. Yeah. Um, <laughs> he actually pays us to be on the show. <laughs> a substantial that amount of money. Good. Thanks, Stephen. Now, what we love is the pranks. Yes. yes. Obviously, you go undercover. This time, Alison Hammond gets it. I mean, I love Alison. You two are beyond a joke. Have a look at this. <laughs> Oh, oh, she's oh, here, she's oh. here, she's here. Welcome. Look at the dolls. It's so good of you. Get me out of here. I'm a million percent, I'm not staying here. Uh, she's got to stay. Can we get some sound out there? Find her and get her to the restaurant. I feel it. Let's take things up a little. I have the ability to be scared. She's so fruit like the singer. <laughs> 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 Excellent. I actually feel a bit sorry for watching that yeah. now, if I'm honest. <laughs> well, Deck, these, these pranks, they're so high risk, and, yes. and that looked yeah. like it was going to go she wrong. Oh, yeah, she was leaving. Didn't she? That is the one that nearly went absolutely haywire because she got there she only and it's it's the hotel it was supposed to be an overnight stay she got as far as reception and she was like i'm not staying here <laughs> this place is too speaky she got out got in the car and said take me home We're like she can't go home <laughs> Don't do that. She can't go home. we've set the whole place up we've got hidden cameras everywhere and she was like no i'm not going back in there. we had to ring the plant which was the producer from this morning yeah and say get her in just get her into the restaurant for a drink at least and then we'll try and get her to stay at the hotel. We then had to ring the driver and say to the driver, uh, there's another job for you down the road to just get him away so she didn't have a car to go to. We had to, like, we had to do anything we could just to keep her there. But because see, that's the brilliant thing. Yeah. You have to think on your feet yeah. you, the whole time. It's yeah. like live, really, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it is. But that is, that is the one that... Yeah, very nearly didn't happen. That's yeah. the closest it's been to falling apart. Well, it's great. Gen there's genuine panic in our faces when you watch it. Oh, I love on that. Saturday night. It's so good. <laughs> it's great it to see the even better. behind the scenes stuff there. But you guys have actually shot a documentary. Are yes. you shooting? Well, we're shooting, yeah, we're shooting as we yeah. go. Yeah, we, we're, we're doing um, behind the scenes on Saturday Night Takeaway. But um, so you see warts and all, you see everything of what it takes to put this together and the things that nearly go wrong and the things that do go wrong. Every year when we put the show together, things fall apart at the last minute and there's changes and, and, yeah. Yeah. there's all sorts of things so yeah. we thought it'd be fun we've been huge fans of things like drive to survive you know behind the scenes of f1 mm. and full swing the new one about yeah. golf so we just said it would be interesting to do one behind the scenes of an entertainment oh, show i think people Better will laugh better we well, should do it, one you know what? we should do one here yeah we should there you are yeah. okay. um, is that our second commission you, maybe you we're doing one right now maybe you never know with this fact but it's interesting and i think there's lots of fans of telly out there who like watching it but also Definitely. love how it's made. I know yeah. I, when I was a kid, I used to love seeing how things were made. So I think if you're interested in any of these shows, it's always yeah. lovely to see behind yeah. the scenes. You know, it really is. Mm. Um, we've got loads of questions I'll for you. Have we got coming. time? Okay. Uh, Heidi says, I'm Ant and Dec's biggest fan. Hi, Heidi. Uh, my question to them is, what is your favourite part of Saturday Night Takeaway? Uh, the fact that it's live, I think, yeah. uh, mm. and things yeah. can go wrong and it, they don't always go smoothly. <laughs> and it's it's joyous. It's it's a lovely bit of joy on a, on a Saturday yeah. night. It's the happiest 90 minutes of the week uh, and we absolutely love being And it's like traditional there. family telly. Yeah. yeah. That's the lovely yeah. thing yeah. About And it, that's what it? we love is, you know, kids can watch it with the grandparents yeah. and the parents and the whole family on the sofa. We love that. We yeah. used to have that as, as, as kids. So. I know. And there's nice not so much of it, is there? There's not no. so much, no. It's, no, a, it's a privilege to host it, mm. it really is. Well, Ant and Dec Saturday Night Takeaway returns this Saturday at 7 o'clock on ITV1 and ITVX. Now then, these two aren't the only ones who can spring a surprise. No, you see. Oh. Uh, every